So y no is greater than zero. So while our number is greater than zero, we want to be doing this. Hello guys, it's me again, Mr. Lena. Hello guys, what's up? It's me again, Mr. Lena, and today we'll be trying another code challenge. I hope you've been enjoying my code challenge videos. If you've not watched any of them, you can go back and watch them. So today, this is a challenge. We are not going to use uh, code words or any of such computational programming platforms. Instead, we are going to try a suggestion from one of you, my viewers. Thank you for your suggestion. Here is the code challenge on my screen. We are to write a function that converts a positive integer to its Roman numeral counterpart. Basically, thanks to the Indians and Arabs, we currently use digits 0 to 9 to do our mathematical and computational calculations. We use them in the market, we use them, we use them everywhere in our daily lives, in academia and everywhere. But in the past, different civilizations used to use different counting systems. The Romans, they used what we call today the Roman numerals, where I stands for one, uh, I, I for two, etc. They had different symbols for different numbers. Therefore, our coding challenge today is for us to write a function. Of course, we are going to use Python programming language because we love Python, right? So we are going to implement a function that converts any integer to its Roman numeral counterpart. For, um, we are going to test our function on these six examples. Our function should output this MMDCLXI for 2,661 ETC and it should output I for 1. So without wasting much of your time, I'm going to start facing the challenge. You can pause this video and try to solve the challenge before watching our own solution or you can code along with us, it depends on you. The most important thing is that you learn from it. This coding challenge is usually popular in code interviews, although it is quite basic. Without further ado, I will begin to answer our coding question. I will put this right here so that you can see the challenge while we code along. So here, as you all know, I love using I do because it is simple and then it is uh, it, it comes installed with Python. Of course, I have other text editors, but I prefer to use Kindle for my tutorials because it is basic. So we start, we define, of course, we define our function. Let's call the function int to Roman. And uh, it is going to take a number. Let's call it num. For best practices sake, we will document our function using a doc string. So let's say this function Converts argument num. Uh, so, so this is uh, documentation for this function, and I think we can continue. So, uh, first. Uh, in Roman numerals, we have different basic symbols for different numbers. They just increase as we step through. So, for example, I stands for 1, but 2 will be I, I, 3 will be I, 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 and so on and so forth. If you know these central symbols, we can use simple mathematical operators in Python to add another symbol after those steps. So, so our central values stand for 1,000. For 1,000, we have 1, 900, 1 for 500, 1 for 400, 100, 90, 50, 40, 10, 9, four and four one so now we'll start inputting the corresponding symbols for all these central values so for 1000 i think we have m yeah for 900 it is cm cm for 500 it is d yeah 
for 400 it is cd 400 it is c sorry capital c 400 it is c for 90 it is xc xc for 50 it is l for 40 it is xl for i think after 40 we have 10 for 10 of course we all know 10 is x roman numeral form uh for 9 is ix we all know that here yeah. ix for 5 uh let's put this down so that it will be readable for 5 we have v for 4 we have iv then of course for 1 we have i all these symbols correspond to all these central values and of course you see how we are going to use these two lists in our code soon we are going to initialize our Roman numeral that we are going to output Roman no Roman no let's initialize it to empty string as we are doing our calculations with the input norm we'll be adding the symbol like you see now so we are going to also use i equals to zero so y norm is greater than zero so while our number is greater than zero we want to be doing these calculations we want to loop through for underscore in range in range norm well, i What this operation does here is to loop through a range of values that we calculate through this operation here. Let me show you how that operation works. For example, if we have 11 uh, by 2. So here it will return 5 instead of 5.5. For example, if we do 11 by 2, it will be 5.5. But what this actually does is that it returns the, the whole number. You can watch my video named how to solve any math problem with Python to understand how these mathematical operators work in Python. I also explained this particular operator in that video. So you can go back and watch the video. So here, what I want to do is to add this symbol, Roman norm plus will be uh, plus equal to sim. So it will be, we are to add the symbol in that position of i as long as our number is greater than zero what we want to do is to go through a range a range of of the result that this returns for example if we have two we start with zero so it will be range two which will give us zero one so the first step of this process start with zero and then add m since the value in sub i sub 0 is m, it will add m to this. And it will continue like that until our, our number is equal to 0 or less than 0. Of course, we've not, we've not done that. So, so naturally, our next step is to subtract number from the value we just, we just checked. But that is not all. Of course, we need to increase i so that we go through the other symbols and values. So we do i plus, we'll increment it by 1 after each cycle of the while loop. So here, what we want to do is to return. We are going to return the Roman. So this, uh, this should give us the expected output but uh but we are going to try we are going to try all these all these tests and make sure that it is it outputs what we want so we have this mm. this we have for two six six one 
So let's do that for all. Let's do the same for all the others. We have three, seven, eight, nine. Uh, then let's try the next one. Three, seven, nine. Three hundred and seventy-nine. Let's try the next one. We have uh sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Then uh thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Then of course the last one. Thirty-nine. Then of course the last one. Uh, so let's save this. Save this as see. So we are going to run and, and check our result. So let's check it out. So as you can see, we have the same results for our expected uh, tests. That is it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos like this one. Don't forget to also like our video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.